I sent you an article from Graham Stoney, and he has an excellent blog on Jordan Peterson. And essentially, this guy Graham Stoney, who is, um, he blogs about s surviving uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, and yeah. he it just all the ways that he's he's naturally cured himself from CFS. And he messaged Jordan Peterson saying, "Hey, I think your face." is malaligned and I think you have sleep apnea because your face is ill-structured. And Jordan Peterson actually wrote back, I believe, the next day and said, yes, you're absolutely right. How did you know that? And so uh, Graham Stoney is a big fan of yours, I believe, and a big fan of mewing in general. And I thought maybe you could analyze Jordan Peterson's yeah. face for us. So, all right. So I, I prepared a couple of slides because this fascinated me. Mm -hmm. um, OSA is obstructive sleep apnea. And... Mm -hmm. I was just, I, I was staggered with what Jordan Peterson was saying with this, his, his depression. The, you know, he says he's got this untreatable depression. He says that, you know, when he gets up in the morning, he can't stand. You know, he has to go to the sauna for an hour and a half. And then, he, you know, then he can only stand long enough to get to the shower where he tries to wake himself up. And then he eats and walks 10 miles. And, you know, he's, he's, he's this thing that's, that's plaguing him. It just, it absolutely staggers me that, you know, he could be in such a situation. And this is screaming sleep apnea, you know. Um, so I thought if we did an analyzation of Jordan Peterson. Now, there's, there's lots of different causes we recognize for sleep apnea. And I'm not interested in any of them except the structural cause. So I'll just talk about the structural issues here with Jordan Peterson. But Jordan Peterson has got you know, a slightly longer face. You know, uh, you'd call it sort of in the, in the past, it was sort of referred to as a sort of noble face, a distinguished face. And this was when everyone else in the fields who were farming, subsistence farmers, had pretty good facial development. Um, <clears throat> now, here is a representation I've got here of what I refer to as craniofacial dystrophy. Faces with good architecture work well. And of course, here I have someone with what we refer to as ancestral architecture, you know, a very forward-growing prognathic face. But our, our uh, bodies yeah. are natural we we naturally understand what health looks like we are yeah 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 we're hardwired we're hardwired to be in my view attracted to healthy faces mm -hmm. that's what makes you attractive this mm -hmm. is the c you know your face is the cv of your health it's mm -hmm. this militia beacon to hello i've managed to grow a great face mm -hmm. that means i not only am i healthy and have great architecture and will survive well in the in, in a world but also i've managed to do it mm -hmm. And that was an achievement. Mm. And that's what you're signaling with good facial form. It's not genetic. We know it's not genetic. Wake up, smell the coffee. You're not, it's not a hand you're dealt. Mm -hmm. This is something you achieve yourself. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now if we're, I show you what goes wrong. So if you have weak muscles, you know, you haven't been having to rip tough meat out, you know, it's not the the tough diet as far as eating rough meat and things. It's when you, you you've got to dry your meat because you've got no refrigeration. You dry meat and you haven't had a kill in two months. You know, eating these strips of leather, and that's what our ancestors were eating a lot of. But mm -hmm. and it was it was the bulk of food because they had to eat a vast amount to keep themselves going. You know, mm -hmm. it was if you didn't get enough eat to eat, you died. Mm -hmm. So you know, no fussy eaters back then. Mm. All right, so if your if your jaw muscles are weak and you've got nasal obstruction, so you're hanging your mouth open, I mean, the nasal obstruction might have passed, it's now become a habit. So mm -hmm. you've got the open mouth posture and weak muscles. Your mm -hmm. face is lengthening. And as your face lengthens, now most people would stop halfway down this uh, uh, path I'm mm -hmm. showing. But Jordan hasn't. Jordan's face has fallen. You see how the whole face distorts. Mm -hmm. And it drops there. And that's Jordan Peterson. Mm. The, one of the problems is that what we do is as our face drops down, we then tip it upright. We tip it upright. So you've got this, the, the vertical line, you more or less, this point here is more or less above this point here. And of course, in the same way, I've done the same line on Jordan Peterson, but noticing he's got this sloping forehead. He's got this 
large looking nose. It's not that large. It's just because he's got, you know, his cheekbones are flat from under the eye. He's got no cheekbones. He's got cheekbones and those would look smaller. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, his, his heads is sorry, his neck's curved. So I upright Jordan Peterson. That gives you some idea of how far and back. And of course, that's then um, uh, I'm comparing that back to the image I showed you earlier on. So and then, of course, because you've got this lack of space here in the math, you know, you've got this structural problem. You know, you've got to have a forward head posture to open the airway up. You know, Jordan Peterson tried to stand back like this, as I described in the illustration on the bottom left here. He's got no airway. So if I pull that back, no, most people can't, can't breathe like that, can they? He has to have a forward head posture, so he cannot be doing his number one rule of life. I watched him um, give a lecture in Australia, and I'm watching his head posture all the way along, and he's got a forward head posture. Mm. He's not standing up straight with his shoulders back, mm -hmm. the very essence of what he's teaching, because he can't. Mm. It's uncomfortable to him. It's not uncomfortable. He's embarrassing his airway. Strange medical word, this embarrassing your airway. You know, but if he were to do that, it would be uncomfortable. And, you know, as much as he's got the angel on one side saying that, you know, I know my first rule of life is stand up straight with my shoulders back. But you've got the devil on the other side that says, breathe. <sighs> now, what we notice here is this is causing a lot of strain because the weight of his head is far ahead of the center of his shoulders. And that's going to cause a strain. Now. I've tried to actually look at how wide his dental arches are, how much space he's got width-wise. He definitely, you know, he's got a little bit of crowding on his front teeth. You know, you can see that on the bottom front teeth when I look here on this image here. And of course, you can see his canines are standing out with the other teeth behind there are, are narrower. So yeah. he's definitely got a restriction width-wise. But it's the fact the whole face is set back and down. He lacks tongue space. And what tongue space he's got is down and back, closer to his airway. You know, the bottom of the tongue is your hyoid bone. And the back of your tongue is your airway. And if you lack space for your tongue, because your whole face has dropped down and dropped backward, your tongue's now in your airway. Mm -hmm. And of course, I, I came out with the answer, you know, uh, the mewing, you know, coming, you know, exercising your tongue. Well, mewing in, in, in many ways is my functional therapy. That's so what can Jordan Peterson do to improve his facial structure? Well, he can he could do some my functional therapy or you could just go and do mewing it's free it's online a lot of it, wait till the mewing app comes out there'll be more specific information but even in adults my functional therapy can reduce the um apnea hypopnea index by 50 percent mewing is i think more powerful than my functional therapy but mm -hmm. they're basically very similar things i don't know what my functional therapy is but that's okay so well that, that's the mewing. official term for these exercises of the mouth and you said that it's hard for someone on over 25 to mew and get results but it is not impossible no no i don't quite i said it's hard for someone over time over 25 to mew and gain improvements in facial form Oh, but they can, they can mew out. and gain improvements in sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. When you say Jordan Peterson should mew, uh, what you're talking about, I believe, is standing up straight with good posture. And, and your tongue on the roof of mouth. Tongue on the roof of mouth. Stand up straight with your mouth shut, basically. Yeah. And, yeah, and there's this something in mewing. I've seen some other influencers talk about mewing and how you should push push forward with your tongue or push up with your tongue, like change your tongue, the shape. You actually should have your, your tongue vacuumed onto the roof of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as you do that... All of a sudden, you'll find it will push itself up and forwards mm. in a nice sort of progressive, gentle way and just stay there. And then all you've got to do is maintain the vacuum with your lips and you're done. But a lot of people are going to have very narrow arches and people are going to struggle is exactly that reason. Jordan Peterson is going to struggle to get his tongue in the roof of the mouth. And of course, he could consider to have surgery. So this was a surgery by Stanley Liu in Stanford. Um, and He's literally just bought this person. So he's done what people who are mewing are trying to, and some of them are achieving, but he's done this surgically. Mm. Anyway, what I also want to do shows the last slide I've got. This is my idea of good facial development. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, it, 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 I, what I dislike about this is these people are all black. This, this, it, 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 it looks racist and it's not. It's just that these people were from the marginalized lands and areas that uh, where they're still actually living a much more natural 
and good lifestyle.